Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Walton Racing. Today, we're going to install the fuel tank on our 65 coupe. If you haven't already, go check out how we install the rear suspension and differential in episode 3. I'll post a link up top. First up, you'll see Tyler drilling out some mounting holes. These filled up a little during powder coating, so that'll need to be taken off. Once they're drilled, we'll clean them up with a file. Before we move on, it's finally time to christen the Clarkson drawer. Okay, so you'll see that the straps are also too tight for the bolts, so those will have to be cleaned up as well. The straps were mounted to the frame, and we'll move on to setting up the fuel tank. First, we'll add the gasket for the filler neck. Then we'll set the O-ring and install the fuel level sending unit. Once that was in, we spun the locking ring into place. Next, Tyler screwed the vent into the plastic bushing. It's like a fishing. Oh brother, this guy stinks! The vent was then inserted into the gasket already installed in the tank. Modification to the original filler tube needs to be made, so measurements were taken and it was cut down. Once the tube was cut, we mounted the lower section into the tank. Next, Steve is going to install the filler tube retaining bracket. You'll see he's setting a punch to drill a hole because the factory holes on the tank don't line up. We made sure not to drill close to the weld holding the tank together. The next part of the build wasn't our favorite and I think Thomas from Oak Hollow Garage said it best. The tank install went fairly well, but those straps were a pain in the ass. Sorry for cussing, family friendly, all the above. Indeed they were, but first we'll need to modify the tank. You'll see us flattening these bent parts of the tank. This has to be done in order for the tank to sit right. There is a weld next to them, so we were mindful of that when flattening these areas. Okay, here's the fun part, getting the straps to line up right. We held up the tank while determining where the straps needed to be bent, lowered the tank, bent the straps, wash, rinse, repeat. We had to do this a few times, but finally we were able to get the tank to line up correctly and the straps reached the fastening point. Once the tank was bolted in, everything was tightened up. Next, we drilled the holes for the fuel filter bracket and we set the rivets. Next, 
Now we're on to the in-tank fuel pump and hanger assembly. You'll see Tyler drilling out the ends of the send and return lines. This was suggested by Factory 5 as the pressed ends can restrict flow. Now he will install the pump into the hanger and wire up the connection point. Last that is left is mounting the charcoal can and installing the fuel pump hanger. If you don't know what a charcoal canister is, its purpose is to absorb fuel vapor that would otherwise vent into the atmosphere. Okay, that's it for the fuel tank. If you haven't already, check out our other videos to get caught up on the build. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.